Instacart is pretty okay for now. Hello everyone, my name is Russ and welcome back to the channel. On the Russ Ride channel, I'm gonna give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for rideshare companies and delivery companies. With the recent pandemic, I've been focusing a lot more on food delivery companies, which makes sense. Which brings up a good subject. Before, I wasn't really excited about Instacart because I did notice that people didn't tend to tip as high and the pay was low for the work that you were doing. But after looking at my 2019 expenses, I did realize that expenses matter. And so I started looking at more of dollar per mile equivalents and the importance of that. There's a lot of other YouTubers out there sharing information on Instacart, and I decided to give it a try again. And wouldn't you know, it is worthwhile. I was making about $20 an hour. Now, I do have some caveats. I was doing it at Costco, which I prefer for many reasons. In Costco, everything is laid out in the store for you just to grab and go. You don't have to weigh anything. And it's pretty simple to find your way around the store if you know the layout, which I do. I've heard about the early access to the store, but I haven't inquired about that yet. I've just been going during their normal business hours. And if you can help it, going during the week is easier than when they're very busy on the weekend. So to start off the morning, I would go out in the parking lot and wait for a batch that looked good. Obviously, I'm looking for something with a significant customer tip. And it is a bonus if it's during a peak time, if Instacart is offering you extra pay as well, because pay really matters. So when I accept the order, right away when you start shopping, I send the text message and I'll read it to you so that you can copy it as well, as well as put it up here on the screen. I send it and it is worthwhile, you know their first name. So when you start out and say, hello, put their name, Joe or Mary, whatever it is and then continue with the rest. So I would say, hello, this is Russ with Instacart. I am excited to help your day go smoothly and we'll start shopping for you shortly. Please be sure to check your app often in case there are any items that are out of stock or can be replaced. I'll also message you when everything is loaded up in the car and I'm on my way to you. Thank you, Russ. So right away, you're connecting with the customer, letting them know that you care about them and you're eager to get started shopping for their important order. And it's a reminder to them to stay on the app because invariably there are gonna be changes to the order. And so it cuts down on waiting time. One good thing to do, like Steph on the pedal has mentioned, when you're in a store, if you see paper towels, toilet paper, any type of sanitizer, message the customer and ask if they wanna add that to their order and you may get an, uh, an additional tip out of it. One thing that I did notice that was different doing it at Costco is many times in the batch, they're gonna give you two orders in one. So I caution you, those items will add up pretty quickly and you just have the one cart. So as you're going through, try to separate the items by order as much as possible. And I did learn this the hard way when you go to checkout, try your best to get all the items from one order on that belt as soon as possible because once the cashier asks to scan the barcode, you're gonna have to hit back and it'll take some time to get back in the order that you don't have. So try to do that up front from the beginning and that way the orders are separated. Then once I got to the car, then I would physically separate the two orders if they were large, one in the trunk and one in the back seat. That way I don't have to think as much and just focus on navigating and getting to the customer. So once I'm in the car and I have the order already separated, I start navigation. Then I'm gonna message the customer again, the person that I'm heading to and use their name. So you can say, hello again, Joe or Mary. This is Russ with Instacart. I'm on my way to you with your groceries and will be there soon. Later, don't forget to rate my service. Thank you, it's been a pleasure serving you, Russ. So what does this message do? It shows that you are on the way so that they can expect you and it's a reminder to them to rate you for your services and to tip you. I have had customers tip me in the app 
and then give me cash at delivery when I'm there unloading their boxes of groceries. So this is something that's customer service related and it, it relates you as a human being, um, someone who is compassionate and caring about their order, and so they'll reward you appropriately with a tip as well as customer ratings. Finally, I did check my balance because as I was doing the Costco Instacart runs uh, during that day, I was concerned because the tips were taking a while to show up. So I thought, oh no, is that true that the customers are already pulling back their tips during that same day? So I waited for several more days and I saw the tips did show up in there and they did stay there. So this is very important. It was allowing me to earn roughly $20 per hour and again, earning uh, $2 per mile in my vehicle. Hey Russ, sorry to interrupt. All this information has been really exciting, but how about would you like to go along for a ride along with me? And you can check out a few of the batches that I did. Wow, what a fantastic idea. Yeah, let's go see how that went. Awesome. All right, well, let's go. Well, hello. I've started off, I've done three orders today, and the first two were a combined order at Costco, of course, and there were some substitutions, so it took quite a long time to get it done. That took me about an hour and a half. The second order was large, and I didn't even know I got it. I was swiping so fast, I would see three orders at Costco, and as I was swiping one, it would completely disappear, and then it said there was a server error so I restarted my phone, and then when I was looking to get more batches, I couldn't, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna look through everything. And sure enough, it said return to batch. So without me knowing it, I did get a batch, and I have no idea how much it was for because I was just swiping as quick as I could. There was one that was $47, there was another one 29-ish. So I really have no idea which one I got. That order, was large and it went so smoothly. I had no replacements, no refunds, and I was very grateful. And then the gentleman and his son helped me unload, so that was a great trip. I'm gonna head back now and do some more orders and hope that the bots aren't taking them or maybe I'm just too slow in swiping. But it's a nice 90 degrees out here in California, so it's time to get back to work and make that money. Hey there, I just wasted the last hour and 10 minutes, really for not much money. I was trying to stand up to principle and not accept a $25 Costco order with uh, two orders within that going 12 miles. And it sat there for a long time and then finally someone took it. So I took that chance to go use the restroom. And then I spent the next 30 minutes kind of like taking a lunch, but with no food waiting for batches and I saw them disappear so quickly I started getting batches for all over cities near far and away and I also saw two roughly 40 and 47 dollar Costco batches for the location I was at and I didn't even have a chance to swipe and they were gone so I'm sure it's true like Steph on the pedal has reported and Jay with Jay's investments the bots are out there people are using them and I'm not getting the order. So I was just about to leave and actually go eat lunch when I saw one come up and I think it was like $15. I didn't even look, I just accepted it quickly. I'm glad it only took me 40 minutes to complete the order. It was uh, seven items from Costco and I just delivered it to a gentleman who was appreciative. Um, the payout wasn't that good, but it's better than nothing. So think about that when we get too excited about wanting to only make 20, 30, 40, 50 dollar orders. So back to work, I'm gonna do a couple more batches because I did see there's a promo where you make $70 if you do five and I should be at four now. So I'll check back with you later. Oh, and before I forget, it's good to have a portable battery with you so that you can keep it in your pocket and have your phone charging while you're in the store because the app does drain your battery quite a bit and you can't afford to be out of batteries um, in the middle of a batch. So I'll link a description to this in the video description. You can check that out. All right, back in a little bit. Instacart at Costco is definitely worthwhile because you're indoors, you get some exercise, you can have free access to the bathrooms 
and you're earning pretty good money as long as the customers keep tipping. If that changes, then Instacart may not be worth it unless you have no other choice. Uh, but for right now in these times, it's great. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Well, hello everyone, back again. Had a little bit of a surprise this afternoon. I thought that my earnings were in, but actually there's a little bit of a delay from Instacart. So I do have good news. I worked a total of six hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I earned a total, I'll just round up, $130 in the app. And 70 of that was Instacart payments. And then customer tips was 60. And then in addition, I did get a cash tip of $40 from a lady when I had to cart all her stuff up three floors. And I was definitely appreciative of that. So Instacart definitely gets the okay from me. It is worthwhile doing. Um, I made well over $20 an hour, and I only put 50 miles on the vehicle. The last two weeks has been very exciting for me, getting to experience and learn more about Instacart, and I hope that you've benefited from this information as well. Please share in the comments below what you think. Are you doing Instacart? Have you thought about it? And do you have any other tips? All right, have a good day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!